Hey everyone, Michael here from GameGravy.com, and with me I have Dante and Chris. What's going on? Hey guys. And this is episode 58. Yeah. And this episode, we're going to be talking about um, the Nintendo NX and then the PlayStation Neo stuff. So, who wants to kick it off? Let's talk about Nintendo first. Yeah, it works for me. Yeah. So, if everybody knows, obviously, the Nintendo news... That we're not going to see much at E3, at all, really. If yep. anything. And why is that? Because they're delaying it. Yep. Until <laughs> when? March. 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 2017. 2017. Yep. 2017. Oh man. And everybody that's been waiting for the new Zelda is not going to be able to get it. Until we'll then. just continue to wait so they can pull another Twilight Princess. Yeah, I'm definitely not happy about that. I'd rather get the new Zelda now. It's going to be. It's probably done. I'm assuming it's done. They're just waiting to port it out with this new system and the Wii U at the same time. Why wouldn't that discourage you from wanting to get the NX? Yeah, but, but here's the thing: why I think about this whole thing. I mean, there's got to be a reason that they're doing this. Maybe that they are just delaying it because of the fact they want a, a stellar lineup for the NX when it comes out. Because maybe. Well, that's what they said. They don't have any games ready for it yet, except for the one that they developed, the Zelda game. See, it, I don't think they have any new games ready at all. Exactly. So it's just and like you're buying a... a system for one game, and they don't want th- to do that anymore. They want to be like, okay, well, here's – it's coming out March 2017. That's pretty much bonkers from, like, anything oh, as far as console. They miss the stuff. Christmas rush. They miss all of that stuff. Yeah. So, like, we're really going to take a hit on that, but we're going to regain everyone back for well, – It wasn't even a hit. Season, they said their, their, ta- their quarter doesn't end in December like everybody else's does. Their financial quarter ends the next year. So that's why they're gonna they're pushing it or something like that. They don't think they're gonna take a hit, but chances are they're probably going to. At least they had like a couple games out with the Wii U and Nintendo Land and all the other stuff to push out with it. I I don't know how this is gonna be. We don't fully know all the details of the NX either. Besides, it's a software platform with new hardware. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty much all we know. I mean, they put a they put a release out there that. A lot of the a lot of unannounced games that were going to be for Wii U pivoted to NX, and that's what they're that's what they're planning on doing. You know that they they're one of the things that they want to have is a much larger focus on software in that first couple of years, and then what they have been having. So you you do you do two things you for you fast forward the launch of a new console, and then you pivot older software to the new platform. But then you alienate anybody that's bought a Wii U or was planning on buying a Wii U for the next year. And that's fine. At least they're telling us now as opposed to, you know, waiting until, you know, when they do some do their do a Nintendo Direct in October. Yeah. And, and, you know, people that were already planning on doing stuff for Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever, like they they're screwed. And at least they're doing something good that way. So I'll give them props for that. They're letting us know what their plans are and they're doing it very early. Yeah. But here, they understand that people want it around Christmas, but that's just not is not aligning with their goals. Sure, I, I don't care when it comes out. Like I buy my own consoles, you know, it doesn't matter. Yeah, that doesn't matter to me now. Like you know, the Christmas thing doesn't matter. It's if you release a large, you know, a decent amount of software when the system comes out, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll just be pissed if there is no software. And people buy this new system, and they're like, "Why did we just buy the new system? Why don't we just keep the Wii U?" Sure. Yeah. So, like, uh, Chris, do you have a do you have a Wii U? I do not. I did own it when it first came out, and then after the first couple months, I was like, "Really, there's really no games for it that I want, so I'm done with this." I mean, okay. there's still only a couple of games that I really like for it. I mean, there's there's a handful, but to be honest with you, I. I don't know. Personally, I'm not like on the edge of my seat waiting for a new Nintendo console, and I'm a Nintendo fan. Sure. I, I, I'm so I was the last of you guys to buy one. Yeah. And I and I bought one at at your behest. I mean, everybody that was on that was on the site, you know, basically pestered me to get one of these damn things, and I, <laughs> and I bought one. And they, my like my usual rule is like you if I don't have at least five games to play, yeah, that I want. I'm not gonna buy your system, yeah. and they definitely did. They exceeded that. I'm not gonna, for sure. You know, throw them, throw them under the bus for, for doing what I want them to do, which is release a few games that I know I'm gonna want to play. But when you pull the crap that they pulled with Twilight Princess again, 
and you make us do exactly what we've done previously, mm-hmm. which is delay a game specifically for your new console launch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are screwing over and alienating everybody that's supported you for the past four years. Well, yeah, I mean, because people still have their Wii U primed and ready to go, but like, hey, give me Zelda. Yeah. I want it. I mean, I still have a lot of stuff to play through on, on uh, Xenoblade. There's, yeah. That game is awesome. Uh, there's tons of content. But, like, Zelda Zelda. That's totally different. I, you know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it's one of those games that people wait for for a very long time. And they're going to be hardcore about and they're going to be like, whatever. But I don't, I just don't know. So, that's not going to make me buy the system is waiting for Zelda. Because I could just be like, you know what? I could just buy for the Wii U now and not worry about the NX unless there's something revolutionary with the system that I need to get one. Sure. I mean, all this stuff is is all conjecture at the moment because yeah. they haven't they haven't released any information, really. No. They're not going to release any information at, at, at E3. E3. And the no. only thing they're going to show at E3 is Zelda. Which we won't be getting till March of 2017. Sure. So, <laughs> so, so, so it, past, what's... like four... It's like four E3s in a row that they've touted and, you know, teased this new Zelda. Yeah. And we're finally going to get a hands-on demo and actually see some freaking gameplay. Yep. And then sayonara, have fun for nine months because it's not coming out until then. That, you know, when people do that, it's kind of like Mighty Number no. 9, right? Oh, sure. When, when people do that, I think they... They do build up interest in, in their game like a lot, especially since Zelda is a huge franchise has been around forever and, and people are diehard fans. But it gets to a point where when you drag people along for too long, they cease to give a crap. Sure. They're just like, you know what? Whatever. Chris was on that podcast with me. We talked about all the, the games that have been delayed and yeah. what yeah. turned out good and what turned out And now Mighty no. Number 9 has a release date now. Woohoo! Yeah. <laughs> but do you really, it's like, do you really care? I'm like, yeah, I care, but I'll get it whenever I feel like it. Yeah. If I if I get around to it, I stopped the, I stopped waiting for it. like my, I got other games. There were other indie developers that put out some um, Mega Man esque games that was like rogue type, that was sweet, and I got my Mega Man fill at the time with that, and that desire kind of burned out a bit. So maybe later on when it pops up again, I'll I'll get it. But that's what's gonna happen with 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 Zelda, I think, because it's not gonna be revolutionary or crazy. It's a Zelda game. Yeah, but those graphics, though, what we saw in those demos are going to be amazing. Well, yeah, they're going to be amazing, but it's like, I, I don't know, man. Is there going to be unique gameplay that's different that we haven't seen yet in a Zelda game? Oh, gosh, Is it no. just a Zelda game that it has different levels and maps and stuff like that with slightly better graphics? Exactly. The, the, in my opinion, and I'm not a huge Nintendo fan, and I mean, everyone can attest to that and say, like, yeah, Chris is all about Sony, but either way... When it comes down to it, Zelda's where I've seen gameplay of Zelda is always mainly the same exact thing. So yeah. like I don't think this new Zelda game is going to break any ground and be like, oh my god, this is going to be like the most amazing Zelda game ever made. I mean, graphically it may look amazing. Yeah. But it that, might do something different with like open world explore exploration and stuff like that. That that yeah. that would be really unique. Yeah. But that's something I can get in The Witcher right now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know? I mean, the three pillars of Zelda has always been, you know, dungeons, overworlds, and towns. Yep. I mean, that those are like the three pillars of Zelda. And then... Yeah, that exploration you, of that. Then. Yeah, I mean, if you give me open world, if you give me The Witcher, but it's set in Hyrule, I'm going to give you a standing ovation. Yeah. And then I'm going to be still pissy pants that you're making me wait until the new console comes out just so I can play it. Agreed. And I'm not going to buy your new damn console to play it on there because I just bought your new console less than a year ago. <laughs> exactly. I just because bought you, it. Well, it's like they finally started putting out a bunch of games. Well, yeah. They did lose a bunch of third-party support on that, and that killed their system. That killed the Wii U a lot. Yeah. yeah. You know? And, and they've been putting out just better titles as the time goes on. That's why I've kept my system. Yeah, like, I, I really want to play... Um, I really want to play Xenoblade Chronicles. I haven't played it yet. I'm actually going to buy it tomorrow. Sweet. Well, we can play together. Thanks. Because I have it. I was planning on doing it. I'm buying it tomorrow because it's on sale, and it's cheaper now. Sweet. And I'm going to get it. You know later on it's going to be worth a lot of money because it's an awesome game. Because, like, the original Xenoblade for Wii is worth, like, a lot of money right now. You can still get it. They just just released it digitally on uh, the Nintendo shop for 20 bucks, which is cool. Sweet. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, I hear you. Like, Chris, I I know you got rid of yours. 
it just i mean that that like slow drip of software like that's been their curse yeah, yeah. so how do you like th- they're gonna come they're gonna combat that by bringing all these developers together to start working on this new thing but then again you're alienating third parties which you've been doing for quite a while two generations now <laughs> yeah, like, two generations. like yeah i mean even that's true. That's true. like three even if you want to count the gamecube because how small those damn discs were i mean like, yeah. the developers they, were pissed they still had amazing games though you know yeah yeah but okay but here's my question though what's going to be like for the rest of the year then nothing i don't know like that's what's the, gonna come out thing. for the 3ds what's gonna come out for the wii u or even the wii u yeah, yeah. what are they gonna what are they yeah. gonna te- what are they gonna tease they have to have something up their sleeves otherwise people are just gonna be stagnant with their system they're gonna see a lot of people trading them in because they're gonna be like i'm gonna trade it in get rid of this stuff right now because later on the nx is coming out and if i do want to buy it i'll buy it if they don't impress me then whatever i'll buy more xbox one or playstation 4 games i mean it's like it's like <laughs> we're getting more mobile news from Nintendo than pretty much anything else, like the Fire Emblem and then yeah. what's, the, what's the other mobile game that's coming out? I, I don't know, but, you know, I really don't care about the mobile stuff. Yeah. I I tried playing the little app, and it's, like, cool, fun. It's, like, my my me that answers questions with other people's me's, and I don't really so, care. I mean, just to answer that question, like, what's, what's on the horizon for Wii U, the only thing I can, the only thing that I, I'm seeing is stuff like, Mighty Number no. Nine and Mario and Sonic Rio 2016, which is totally going to be amazing, mm-hmm. and Lego Star Wars Force Awakens, which is going to be on everything, and um, I think they've got a Mario Paper Mario coming out at some point, and then a Mario Super Sluggers, which is the baseball title, and uh, that's it. So uh, I mean, they're trying to like, put stuff out for it at least. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're not abandoning abandoning it completely, but. Again, your Paper Mario's Color Splash, that's the name of it. Oh, Sorry. yeah, yeah, that's right. So, I, I mean, forgot that's, about that one. That's the, other, that's the other big game that they're putting out. But but they'll, I guarantee they'll push that until holiday, so that'll be their holiday title. Yeah. So you've got another set. What, it's it's freaking May now. You have seven yeah. more months. And like, <laughs> these games <laughs> to come out, you have two releases in seven months yep. in typical Nintendo fashion. And hey. Star Fox sucks. So, <laughs> yeah. good luck. And Star Fox, yeah, came out and it was like, yeah, I thought they were supposed to change some things. No. (laughs) I made so many people mad when I came back from E3 and I was saying that I did not like Star Fox. People were like, what are you, stupid? Like, I'm like, I just didn't. It it felt like playing the Nintendo 64 version or something like that. And I didn't care for it. Yeah, because it was like, Uh, look at me. Some people. It's a robot chicken. I know, right? Some people loved it. Some people loved it. But I'm not one of those people. So. Yeah, I mean, like uh, you, I mean, you played, you played, it, and I played a little bit of it. The, the, the motion control stuff, it is horrible. Like, what the hell are you guys doing? Yeah, I, I don't. Well, they're not doing much with it. What game actively utilizes it besides Splatoon and Nintendo World? I mean, they're, like they're or Nintendo Land or. Whatever. Did you not? I mean, did they not learn? From that horrible PS3 game, Lair. Oh god. That it was a dra- <laughs> like, it was a dragon motion control game. They yeah. used a gyroscope. No, I, I remember. And they put that game out and it looked amazing and everybody wanted to play it. And then they they're like, oh, you can only use gyroscope. You cannot use the the deep. Well, the... It was like the Morpheus headset thing though. When I when I demoed that, um, it was it was ridiculous because they had two motion control controllers that you had to use with the game, and that's the only way you could play that specific game. It was a medieval game with a sword. And I'm like, well, that's cool, but I'm not going to buy two motion controllers to play this game that looks pretty sweet, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> what other games you got? So, and there's only a couple other ones, but yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was hoping, man. Like, I, I was really hoping that they would learn from their mistakes and make people like me and Chris happy again because, like, he may have gotten rid of his, but he bought it in the first place. He likes Nintendo. Yeah. Like, he wants to like Nintendo. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I bought a 3DS. I, 3DS when it came out, and I bought the Wii U when it came out. And it was just like, oh, there's no games. I feel like I, when I first bought the 3DS, I was like, why am I only playing Pokemon in this? Because <laughs> like, that was the only good <laughs> game to play. Right? I was like, why am I playing Pokemon in this? Why can't I play it on the regular DS Lite? <laughs> 
and it wasn't even a 3DS game at the time. It was like... I pretty much play RPGs and and on my 3DS, and that's I only play them when I travel, unfortunately. So it's like I don't really play my 3DS at all unless I'm traveling. And lately, I've been watching movies on my iPad when I travel, so it's kind of like because I haven't just have not been having too much fun on the 3DS. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I, I I wanted the system to do well. I really wanted the system to do well because it's cool. I mean, it's a cool system. I like the functionality of it and all that. But well, yeah. the, just the heart, the, again, the software support, support's not there. And the system has not sold well. It means barely sold better than the Vita. If you look at the numbers, it's barely better than the Vita. I, th- I think what they're going to be doing this next round is trying to either get rid of it or integrate that facet into mobile. I mean, that's all speculation, but... Sure. You know, because people... You know, are carrying around their phones everywhere, but they're yeah. not carrying around their 3DS everywhere. Yeah, I mean, they had that their their mobile that one mobile uh, me game that had like yeah Miyamoto like three million out three million downloads in a week or some crap like that. Yeah, it's, and it's, it's not crazy. it's I didn't it's, huge. it's really not that big of a deal. No, it's not. You know, like we, I guarantee you, honestly, I downloaded it, played it like maybe the first day, and then after that, I haven't touched it since. Same here. <laughs> it's still downloaded on my phone, but I was like, I don't really care. I don't, yeah, I don't really have any interest to answer. Like, all all you have on there are all your friends, right? Yeah. And you ask and answer questions. I know my friends. <laughs> like, I, I don't care what, you know, like, I don't even know what their dog says. Or I'll just go over there and pet their dog. You know? Yeah. It's like, I, I don't know. I guarantee I you, like, E3, Nintendo's going to come out and it's going to be like, okay, well... Here's where we have lined up. They're going to show the Mario and then the Paper Mario and whatever little 3DS titles they have. And then they're going to be like, Pokemon Go is going to be available this time or whatever. And then that's probably going to be the hook for sending everyone over the edge and be like, oh, my God. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, we'll I, see. At E3, I mean, they, they flat out said they're not showing anything else at E3 but Zelda. Yeah. Like, that's they're going to be their entire presentation. I feel Zelda. like E3 this year is going to be very, very... Uh, drum down compared to how it was last year and the year before yeah. that. And I don't like. I don't want to sound like just negative the whole time about no, this because no, no. I cannot wait to play this game again. If you give me The Witcher and Hyrule, I'm gonna buy the hell out of it and I'm gonna love it. And I'm gonna I'm gonna piss and moan up until it comes out. <laughs> but the day it comes out, I'm gonna be like one of the first people online to buy it, and I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna play the game. Yeah. And whether I buy it for Wii U or NX is to be decided, but I'm gonna get the damn game. Sure, it's I'm gonna have it. <laughs> so, yeah. If if they have, I swear to God, if they pull some crap like the NX, the NX version is the you know the real version of the game where yeah. it's got you know, exclusive dungeons or any of that crap, I'm gonna lose my ever loving mind. <laughs> Throw your Wii through the window. <laughs> I won't do that. I'm just like, I mean, why? Why would you do this? Why? No, I know. I almost swore like four times there. No, I, I, I saw that. You <laughs> caught yourself. Good job. <laughs> you, you guys, like, you just don't. You, they don't learn, and it's it, it, they don't learn from mistakes of past developers and their past mistakes, and just. Why would you do this? They're going, yeah. they're going with the faith of fanboys and fangirls. They're like, doesn't matter what we do, our fans will love us no matter what. That's just pretty much what they're going off of. Yeah, I mean... Pretty much, yeah. Man, I mean, I, I get It only that. goes so far, though. Yeah, I, I mean, I get that. Like, you know, your fans are your fans to, uh, up, up until a certain point. But, man, you just... You can't... You can't treat people <laughs> that way, like, take them for granted. No. Yeah. You, you can't take your fans for granted like that and just expect them to just eat up every bowl of gruel that you serve them like they're Oliver Twist. That's what they like, do. It, it's not gonna happen. And it, you already see them stru- like you already see that they're sh- how bad they've struggled in this generation. And I just I want them to succeed and I want them to be around for generations to come because I I believe wholeheartedly that they are the best first party developers. Their polish speaks for themselves, and they make beautiful amazing colorful games that you just yeah. don't see anywhere else yeah yeah it's a very unique art style and, and story too for the most part i don't know if i have to play another brown and gray shooter i'm gonna kill myself <laughs> I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah okay. well do you want to meander on to the playstation side of the conversation now i'll be guilty to say I don't know much about the PlayStation Neo news. I didn't really look into that that much. But 
Chris and Dante were going to enlighten me, and I'll probably so, react. Chris, I like. I want you. Like, I, I want you to explain this. Like, we could take turns explaining some of this stuff to Mike, and then I want to just full on rant about it without trying to swear as much as possible. Okay. Deal. Right. Like right. you Deal. like feel like have at it, man. All right, sounds good. All right, Michael, you ready? You're, yep. Are you ready for this? Okay. So supposedly there is going to be a faster, more powerful. PlayStation 4 releasing this year that's supposedly going to be put things in 4K. Are you serious? Yeah, it's going to natively render in 4K. So just so everybody knows, Mike doesn't know anything about this. Yeah, he doesn't know anything. Okay, yeah. So they're, they're going to do this, and they're still going to produce the regular PlayStation 4 and this new PS4 Five, four foot five, or four like, K. That'd be like a half step up. Are you freaking kidding me? No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, yeah. And rumor goes around the fact that like maybe is the fact that the PSVR needs more power or whatever the case would be. Mm-hmm. That it will run, it will run better with this new system or whatever. And yeah, so they're gonna have both those SKUs out. Developers are gonna have to figure out how to develop one and the other. And yeah, it's gonna be. <laughs> Yeah. Dante, go take it away. <laughs> okay, so this is this is from this is a story that, that Giant Bomb Giant Bomb published the story and it's all leaked documents that Sony internal documents that put it out there. Okay. So it's not confirmed by this them? This is not confirmed. This Sony has still like this has been out there for a while now and still so Sony has still not about, said a maybe word a month and a half. to dispute it's two months. Yeah, no Sony has not said a word to dispute a word of any of this. So the, the they they're gonna fragment the market by having two PlayStation 4s out there, or full on replacing the current existing PlayStation 4. I will be so pissed with a four PlayStation 4.5. I will be so pissed. So starting in September, games releasing in September have to have a patch ready for when the 4K when the PS 4K comes out that will allow it to natively render in 4K. And then in October, games will have to ship with the ability to do that day one. Yep. So you're asking developers now to run to, to run their QA and their certification process for both versions for of systems. the game. Yeah. Yep. For both versions of the game. You know what's gonna happen, right? Sure. Uh, it, exactly. Do- <laughs> like guarantee you, as if the sun will shine tomorrow, there will be a game that launches that does not freaking run on one of those two games we're gonna have a yeah. batman arkham city or arkham uh arkham knight situation where it just did not work on pc for months yep like that is going to happen period yep. i don't care what they say not not only that but you're splitting the market up so bad i mean between sure. the three of us on on the phone here right yeah who who has a 4k television here i don't i do that in I, my house you do been, yeah okay See, I don't either, and I'm normally on top of all my electronics. I just haven't got around to getting one yet. And for 4K, you know why? Because 4K TVs, they don't really do anything yet because you need content to be shot in 4K for exactly. it to actually fully take effect. And nobody's exactly. really putting movies out in 4K right now. Exactly. So if they're going to try to tap that market, bravo, kudos for them. Do not make it a requirement for us to upgrade our PlayStations, first of all. Second of all, that's going to be a lot of extra work on the developers. Yep. Do you know what? Games might wind up coming out at 120 bucks or 110 bucks now as opposed to 60 because it's yeah. double the work that they have to do. Yeah. I, I and then just, what happens with all the, like, the live streaming stuff? All the people twitching, all the people that are capturing stuff, creating videos, now their content's going to get ridiculous because the videos are going to quadruple or more in size. Yep. Yeah. Because of the resolution. Yep. Mm-hmm. It's they're they're do. I mean, you're. I don't want to sound like you know the sky is falling and, and like that kind of thing. But no, they're, but like they've done so well this generation. Like I mean, people. This, there's still so much life. Sure. I mean, we're only two. We're, we're you know a little over two years into the lifespan here of the system, and I mean we've gone we we've gone this far and it, it, again it feels it, it feels like a half measure I think you Neil you said that it feel it does feel like a half measure yeah but what you end up doing is you have you can only sell this one of two ways it's either you guys need the 4K they only have two messages yeah you need the 4K because it's gonna run better it's gonna look better it's gonna load faster mm-hmm. that's one message or the other message is you don't need this 
this is just for high end. Either way, your message sucks. Yeah. No, yeah. it's not a really good strategy. No matter Especially what. Especially if they start going, well, if you have the 4K, you're going to get all these extra levels and extra characters and unlocks and sure. whatever. Well, yeah. I mean, like one of their internal documents said you cannot have uh, any any major features has to be in both versions of the game. It makes so sense. So it has to. Like, it, the, and, that's, and that's fine. Like, that's their – that's what they should be doing is keeping – Everything this everything the same. Like you should all be play, playing on an, an equal footing. Mm-hmm. But you already have built in better version of the game. It's gonna run faster. It's gonna look better. It's gonna load and it's gonna load faster. Yeah. That's that's yeah. Fun. You've already given the game special features because of how it's gonna look. Yeah. And, so and you're already beating the competition because of the fact your system runs better than Xbox One. I'm yeah. Sure. It, and that's, I mean, and that's that's perfectly fine. Like they, this the PS4 sold more than any other system at this point in its life cycle than any other PlayStation that's come before it. And I'm, you know, almost as much of a PlayStation horror as Chris is. I've had, <laughs> I, you know, I've had every single PlayStation console since the original PS1, both, you know, both handhelds and all four major consoles. I've had them all. So. Yeah. You know, I, I love Sony. I, I think they do a great job making games, but this feels like an unbelievably unnecessary half measure that fragments your play base and you end up making people feel like they're getting an inferior product because you will never, ever see a game trailer put out that is f- for the regular PS4 now. It will always yeah. be on Neo. Yep. Always. Yep. Like, when was the last time you saw a trailer for Madden 2015 on Xbox 360? They don't do that shit anymore. No, they don't. It's only on Xbox One. It's only yep. on the PS4 version. You, you, you don't ever see any of the trailers for... No, because the they last... want to push their newest lineup to sell it. Yeah, like, the, you're never going to see a trailer for, like, you know, the Call of Duty on 360. That could be. This could be a pathetic attempt to try to sell their 4K TVs. I mean, it could be... It like, could be, but... To give, them, to give them the benefit of the doubt... Like this is strictly for VR, like, and again they haven't said anything it to the contrary. It doesn't need to be for VR though, because the resolution is w- way over what you need for I, VR. Sure, I'm just I'm just playing devil's advocate. Sure, that it's only because VR is coming out, they need the extra juice and they want to future proof it. That's I mean that's sure. surely feasible. But, but how long did the PlayStation Two li- live for? Right, ten years. Ten years. Okay, ten year lifespan. What year are we on the PlayStation Four right now? Two. two. Yeah. Two. Right. Yeah. This my PlayStation is great, right? I sure. I don't want to have to upgrade it already. Yeah, and they're and and they're and they're again their message is either going to be, you don't have to because your PlayStation Four is still awesome. Yeah. I'm also with the other hand telling you you don't need a PS Four K. Yeah. So you don't need the one that's going to run faster and better. So again, your message doesn't make any sense. No, it or, doesn't. It just is like a waste of like or. You can still get the same content, but you're gonna want to get the 4K because we're gonna start putting out. They're gonna eventually cut off the PlayStation 4. Sure, it's an that's, eventuality. That's the like that's the sky is falling scenario is that this completely we, replaces PS4. We should do research on how many people have 4K TVs in the the saturated market because sure. I guarantee you a lot of people that put money in Sony's pockets don't have a 4K TV. I'm sure a lot of people do. Because they go, they've been going crazy on Black Fridays last year and the year before that. Yeah, but they're still priced pretty high. Like I, I, I buy my own consoles. I don't have yeah, to worry too. about anybody else. I don't have stuff. to. I mean, no. Like I don't know anybody else that's still having their, you know, their parents buy them consoles. But that's no. a legitimate reality for a lot of people that have that. Yeah. Video games. What about those that so, the kids from the age ages of like I don't know thirteen to seventeen? Just put right that play games all the time on their PlayStation. And they don't have jobs, or they sure. don't. Maybe they have jobs, but they don't make enough money to to buy. And Sony's response to that would probably be, "This is not for them." Mm-hmm. Oh. So this is for us, people that have their careers and can buy their own consoles. Yeah, pretty much. And to force us to buy a 4K TVs to buy the 4.5 Sony freaking system. Or what they could be doing is kind of like they're starting a trend for this whole two and a half year thing of kind of like how we do with our phones. That's not. Uh, you know what? You might have nailed it on the head right there. I I hope that's not the case. I hope it's not. <laughs> because if that's the case, th- I'm gonna stop gaming. <laughs> <laughs> I I mean, 
I think a lot of people will. They'll just start buying PC games at that point because they'll just get a really ridiculous nice PC and it will last for like, you know, yeah. however long. Yeah, but then if you have to upgrade it, at some point you're going to spend like, what, $30? So what? Dollars no, on- man. Buy RAM, buy a new video card. Doing that would, would be way more cost effective than buying a new console every one or two years. Mm-hmm. You know? I, 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 mean, what's, I just, I'm praying and hoping that's not the case, but I'm, that's this. That is like the bottom of the barrel of what I'm thinking what could happen. And it yeah. scares the ever living crap out of me. Yeah, because how many people are going to jump on that, you know? I think they would really segment their market too much if they did that. Because then people would be like, oh, what do you have? Oh, I have the PlayStation C1. Oh, cool. Well, I have the PlayStation Z. So I guess we can't play together. No. I mean, yeah, or like whatever. You know I mean, what I mean? That, that's. I mean, I can't imagine that that'd be the scenario. That no. they're both like that, that. That they would allow the like their online infrastructure to be fragmented in that way. Well, that think you, about you it can't... though. If one system has better graphics than the other, they're not sure. going to be able to play the same I, game. Right? I get it. I get it. I but mean, but you know. look at the fact of like what say that your iPhones or your iPads or your IMAX. They yeah, there's. On. But there are some games and certain software applications that you cannot use on the older systems and so older phones that you can on the new ones. Sure, I mean like if like you want... Fallout, for example, you can't play Fallout on one of the older iPhone fours. It chugs. It won't even run. It will crash constantly. So, it, so if your market, so now if your market strategy is to be, you know, that consoles are going to be like phones, you know, and, and every couple of years you're going to need to to upgrade. What is the point of having a console? Yeah, there is exactly. Like, why wouldn't you just move to PC? You I mean, you that, would move to like PC. That's the, yeah. that's the point of being a of buying a console is that you know that you have a, you have a finite amount of time, but you also know for a fact that anything that comes out on the system you're gonna be able to run. Yeah, and so, keep and have. So if you want to sure. have this play play for this for the next five or eight years, if you want, you can do that if you choose. I I don't I do not game on my computer. I don't. I, I spend enough time on it doing you know stuff that I have to do. I don't want to be on it doing it doing anything for fun on it. Sure. Like I, I want to play on my consoles. I want to get away from the computer and. and I go both ways. I bet so. you do. <laughs> phrasing. I hey, phrasing. No, I I played. <laughs> God damn. <laughs> I let me rephrase that. I play on my PC and on my consoles, depending on what games I'm playing and who I'm playing with. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. So you're a switch hitter is what you're saying? No. Freezing. No. Flame. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I like. Go ahead, Dante. Go ahead with I, your I rant. I don't. God, man, like I, I don't. <laughs> God, man, I just like I don't want to. I don't want to like just completely go chicken little and say this guy is falling and this is ridiculous and and all that stuff because really. Again, this this is conjecture. What if they come out and say it's oh that's our goal, but for like twenty end of twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen or something like that. So yeah, so let's say I mean the console right now is three fifty, right? And the internal documents that they showed say that the new console is going to be between four hundred and five hundred, depending on what the innards are. So that's fine. Yeah. So you're going to severely discount the current PS4 current PS4s, and if you're some guy that just bought a PS4 a week ago. You are completely betrayed. Yeah, like no, you, it's you true. are completely yeah. screwed. I mean, I've had mine since day one. Day one, I bought my system. I don't feel like I'm gonna get. Same I don't here. feel nearly as much as I as I got screwed as that guy was. Oh, because you're getting your two years. Worth. I, yeah, I played it for two years. I played a bunch of games on it. I loved every minute of it. It's yeah. great. You know that I've I've been enthralled with the the Ratchet and Clank remake that that just came out on it because it was incredible. If you haven't checked out his review yet, go to the site and check it out. And like Chris, like both of us are salivating to play Uncharted, which is next week. And, <sighs> uh, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm stoked for that game too. It's it was really fun. But don't like you guys have PlayStation VR coming out in a couple of months. Don't you have enough on your plate? To, to try to educate the public on VR, yeah, let no alone kidding. trying to educate the public on PS4K. Or Good even saying, what it, we're, God. We're, we're tech people. We understand the upgrades and technology and stuff like that. What about the people that don't know what 4K is? Well, yeah, like, I, I think I think we've all we've all worked retail selling games, right? Yeah, yeah and like, TVs. I worked at Best Buy back in, sure. you know... I mean, like, Chris, Chris, you work, Chris, you've sold video games like retail yeah. right yeah gamestop. gamestop sure so all 
so, so all three of us have been in the shoes of having to educate a parent on what it is that they need, on what it is that they, what it is that these things do, and why they, and need on it. why that they need it, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So now you, you, again, you have VR coming out, which, I mean, I can't even imagine having a kid right now and, and my kid being like, hey, I want a VR, and I'm like, what the hell is a VR? And I see it, and I'm like, no, lawnmower man, get the hell out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Like, and then, but it will make them smarter. Right? Sure. <laughs> no, well, you little zombie, get away from me. <laughs> we'll just be walking around the house like Back to the Future 2, up, hanging upside down with their yeah, VR headset uh, on. I mean, this is just this VR thing is a gigantic <laughs> undertaking. Yeah, it is the it is the largest step that we've taken in a few console generations of of functionality. Yeah, like this is a huge step up, and it's a huge. It's a huge need to educate the public on what this is, why they need it, when they need it, and it's a large investment. The PSVR I, is I what, honestly $400, don't. $500? Yeah, yeah, it's it's about the price of the console. I don't honestly think it's going to be worth it until they actually have AAA titles that will work with it, like the Call of Duties and the Halos and sure. all those titles that are immersive 3D worlds that you want to run around sure. in and be in. You know, the, uh, these guys the couldn't. One. These guys couldn't educate Have the public fun. on why they wanted a PS4 and a Vita. Now you're gonna tell. Now you're gonna try to educate people on why they need a PS4, K, a VR, and a 4K TV. So all they have to do for kids the, is say one word. Bruh. Porn. No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like this. Like this is not. This is just. This seems completely unnecessary. The way the PlayStation 2 hard drive was completely unnecessary. Like, well, what they should do is what Microsoft does and have allow you to use external USB, you know, hard drives with the PlayStation so I, that you can expand it. I hear you, but man, I, it took me 15 minutes to upgrade my hard drive. Like literally 15 minutes to upgrade my hard drive. I, it was yeah, great. same here. But it, but but I don't know that unless I figure out how to do it. Like I, the, it the take, public doesn't know that. Yeah, like, I, some, some I found dude. a hard drive on Newegg. I ordered it. Just, it came in. It took me like you know ten minutes to install it. I'm sure. good to go. But but, the, but we're not the average public. Sure. Either the normal like a normal person. People are like oh my hard drive's 250 gigabytes or 500 gigabytes. Yeah. But that's all I got. Yeah. I'm screwed. And by the time you get done installing everything, you're like, oh, I only have 410 gigs to work with. Exactly. And I bought two games. Oh, I only have 305 gigs exactly. left. There you go. <laughs> We have like games like freaking what Call of Duty. I know that takes up like sixty gigs right now. That's yeah. ridiculous. I delete those games as soon as I'm done beating them, you know, or I'm done playing multiplayer online. But the thing is, if I had an external hard drive that was like a three or four terabyte that I could just drop the games on and install, I would just leave them all installed. Yeah, I mean, I haven't deleted a game in a while because I upgraded my hard drive. Uh, I mean, I won't unless I need to. I, mean, but, I, I delete games all the time because I'm still rocking my 500 yeah. gigs. <laughs> I am, I, yeah, I'm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I just delete games I don't use because it fills up super quick. I download a lot of stuff. <laughs> what about the people that download movies and TV shows and stuff like that too? Yeah, you know? I mean, I guess that's true. It's like it's true. It, it's still yeah. I mean, quick. I mean, from day one, we all knew that 500 gigs was going to be non was going to be not nearly enough as soon yeah. as you. As soon like I mean day one when I bought my consoles I mean I I installed Madden 25 and uh, Black Assassin's Creed Black Flag and what the hell else did Kill I Killzone. Huh? Uh, that's what I did. I did Killzone, Madden, and Assassin's Creed Black Flag, and I was like, oh my god, look how many gigs yeah. that took up. <laughs> yeah, you're like, oh my god, I only have, you I mean I only have like 250 gigs left? Holy crap! <laughs> like that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> but again like this is this is an education process yep on what you need and why you need it and this company has been historically bad at doing that yeah but they have been good at their technology facet of it so but it's like i guess this it's one of those things with the nx it's all conjecture at this point point. i know that they have documents that was leaked but the fact that they didn't say anything could mean that legally they're trying to be safe. They don't. I mean, I don't know. Could, were there any release dates on the, the paperwork? No. I mean, there were. It was that other than the September video game releases had to have uh, a patch available in October, and anything shipped in October had to be ready out the door for 4K. So that's an educated guess on when the system would be available. September. And it's September October. 
in that in that range. And that's or when, it could be that's when they're starting the development of those games, and they're going to release it in March, yeah. competing with the NX. I mean, possibly, but I, I can't imagine that Sony does anything to compete with Nintendo anymore. No. Like, they're they, not even they, on the same But they platform. might do just to be jerks. Yeah, but that... <laughs> I mean, yeah, if they want to kill it, if they kill the Dreamcast, that's fine. They're also a Japanese company, still... and if, if Nintendo's quarter ends at a specific time, why do, who's to say Sony's doesn't either? Yeah. I mean, Sony's a bunch of cold-blooded assassins because they killed the Dreamcast. Screw you guys, by the way. Still yeah, about that. seriously. Uh, I still have mine. Nine nine ninety nine. Uh <laughs> <laughs> It lives forever. It does. But, yeah, man, like, I just don't... I, I don't want them to come out there... Uh, at E3 and just start blithering about what why I need this thing and then talk on the other side of their mouth about why I don't need it. Yep. Like do not talk don't don't piss on my head and tell me it's raining like they've done in the past. Mm -hmm. Like they have. So that's why you see a lot of a lot of angst online from gamers which I know were excitable by nature but <laughs> like you see a lot of that online about about this night you know you kind of have to agree with it a little bit like i see some of the i see both sides of it like you know you don't this isn't a need this is a half measure yeah this isn't the you know madden coming out it, it, coming out in august is going to work on my playstation 4 and it's going to work on the 4k sure awesome but that game looks better it inherently is a better version of the game because yeah. it runs better and it looks better I don't know. Yep. I don't know. Hey, do you think? Um, do you think like with if Sony goes wrong with this and does release it? Do you think Xbox is gonna release their own version of it? Their Xbox One point five or I have two? a feeling that Xbox One can be patched over software wise because I think their hardware might be capable of running it. I mean, they have that cloud because gaming. because not only that, I think they planned for for that. I I don't know as a fact, but. Their whole console is based around the television and living room. That's what they've been touting for a very long time. Mm. So my guess is if they want to compete in that arena, they might just have to do a software update to theirs to make it work. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, like Microsoft did something out on the same level, but something at least a little bit similar when they released the Elite a couple of years after the original 360 came out. Right. The Elite yeah. came with, you know, a better mm -hmm. hard drive, and it came well, with... They, the consoles the, always do that. They release well, newer hard drives. Well, yeah, I know, but they but it also thinner. came with... Yeah, but it also came with the the modem built in as well. Yeah. The Ethernet, I'm sorry, the Ethernet bill and the modem built in where the original 360, you had to buy that wireless I adapter. I still have my wireless adapter. So, yeah, and I do too. <laughs> and, I, and I do too. So that's, I mean, that was a thing that, that happened. I mean, that the Elite came out and it, it had better functionality, but... It's not like your 360 was obsolete because everything still ran the same. Exactly. This was just giving people that were coming into it new a better option. Yeah. And I didn't, like at not any point did I feel like, oh man, that sucks because I already bought my damn wireless adapter. Mm -hmm. It was I've had my console for three years. You know, I don't really care. My games are gonna run the exact same. This is not running the exact same. Nope. Yeah, this is totally different. Hello, guys. I, we're just gonna have to see what happens. Oops, sorry. And documented along the way. Man, I can't wait for that first Sony exec to come out and, and just stutter get, and stammer. And get th tomatoes thrown at him on yeah, stage. Stutter and stammer about it. And this is the new God of War running on the PlayStation do, Neo. Do you want to go to E3 so we can do that? <laughs> I mean, we, we could do that. <laughs> you love too much. We can sit down and do an interview. Don't get me near a Nintendo. <laughs> go to Jack Triton and be like, hey, get, like, hey what's going on? Like, hey, guys. Yeah. I know, the, the, the point of the the, po the podcast today was to definitely you know talk about these things and hopefully it didn't sound neg too negative but it's the reality of what's going on in the gaming True space that. right they now. deserve to be negative <laughs> they, deserve, they, they deserve to be talked down too negative about this kind of crap because this is just this is the kind of crap that you do when you alienate people that spend their money and their time and their yeah. energy on their hard earned money <laughs> but don't don't get us wrong or anything on I'll be one of the first ones to buy the NX when it first comes out. And I'll be the first one to buy the places VR when it comes out. And the 4K, I'm probably going to have to wait on that. Yeah, I, I don't have a 4K TV. If I had a 4K TV, I'd probably just say, shove it, whatever, I'll buy it, and 
be cool because I'd like to see something in 4K. I've never, you know, yeah. I've seen it a few times and it's quite beautiful and awesome. And if games were actually built at that quality of level, that would be really sweet because they could do a lot of cool things. I mean, because they're selling now the PlayStation 4K like DVD players and whatnot now for like 300, 400 dollars now. So I'm like, you know, if it if it came down to the fact of like, oh, do I really want it? Then maybe after me justifying to my girlfriend be like, hey, yeah, I just bought this VR headset for $400, $500, and then I'm buying this upgraded PS4 for another $400, $500. I think I may end up in a grave somewhere if I do that. uh. A shallow (laughs) hole in the ground somewhere. (laughs) Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that'll be be literally $1,000. I'll be investing into this, hoping that, like, well, are like you including your there. VR price tag? Yeah, yes, yes, I am. Yeah. With, yeah. with your move and your PlayStation camera? Yep, it'll be $500. <laughs> the thing is, though, at the NAB conference, it's like a, a video conference where they show you like new t- television and camera technology for work and stuff in Vegas. So when I was there, they had 4K displays and 8K displays to look at. Okay? <laughs> yeah. So even the 4K, they had, they had a live model standing on a set with like a bunch of cool textured things and just a bunch of different lighting. So that way you can see it projected on the 8K and the 4K television, right? Yeah. They looked better than real life. <laughs> you could see the textures in her shirt and, and the textures and the colors and the fibers and of the cloths that's laying on the table and stuff like that. It was insane how much you could see. How do you not just like burn your retinas out? I have no idea. I don't. I don't know, but it was phenomenal. It was like you're there. Like the next thing they're gonna add to it, the, the televisions, is being able to smell things. You know, I. Sure. I. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> We're gonna be there with the VR headset in the world. We're gonna have such high resolution that it's gonna feel like it's standing right in front of us. Next thing we need to do is stick something on our nose and be like, yep, sure. I can smell the gunpowder. So we're all going to turn into... Like, Miles the 9 was a theme park. Yeah, or Futurama. <laughs> Smell-o-vision. Miles <laughs> 9 goes to a theme park and go to any of the shows at that point. Be like, yeah. oh, let me go to Disney go watch the Par- Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, no point. We got an 8K TV with smell ram vision and we'll be right there. Yes, yeah, it's crazy. Jeez. Like yeah. I, I, I want to be wrong. Like I want to be wrong about all this crap. Like, I want every, you too. Like everything that we talked about today, I would, I would, nothing would please me more than a year from now to do a come podcast out, apology. Yeah, we come <laughs> out here and yeah, yeah, no, seriously, we come out, come out and do like a, a complete half hour podcast of just mea culpas, the whole thing. Like apologize to Sony, apologize to Reggie, you know, apologize to Nintendo, and just like guys, you know, sorry for jumping the gun, sorry for being super excitable. You know, I, I, you guys did a great job, and the NX is amazing, and. I love you. I'm sorry. Like <laughs> I, virtual I would, hugs. I would love nothing more than to just like give them, give them all hugs, like the sensitive thugs that they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, let's see what happens, and uh, we'll keep checking in. We'll see how we'll see how it goes as news progresses. We'll keep we'll keep podcasting about it for sure. Sure. Keep it on our radar. Ratchet and Clank's amazing. Go buy it. Yep, check out our review, too, if you haven't seen it. Uncharted next week. Ugh. Ugh. All right. All right, thanks, everyone, for listening. This is us signing off. Bye.